Morocco is quite a beautiful country with its beautiful metal lanterns garnishing the streets to the beautiful jewelry that the women folk of the country don. Furthermore, Moroccan culture is a perfect fusion of European and Arab heritage, and the rulers of this land live like true kings. And when we say true kings, we mean they go all out with their billions and don't compromise on luxuries and new experiences. Hello folks and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we'll show you how one particular member of the Moroccan royal family spends his billions. Any guesses who we are talking about? Yes, that's right. We shall be taking a look at how Mohammed VI, the current king of Morocco, uses his royal privilege to enjoy his life. Apart from being a royal blood to look the part of a royal member, it is very important to dress up to the status, and that's why the king is quite particular about the apparel that he wears on a daily basis. The clothes, footwear, and accessories that he uses are usually designer wear that he may have bought or that may have been gifted to him by other dignitaries. He also has most of his attire custom made to his choice in fashion. And getting all the latest trends to hit once wardrobe comes at quite a hefty price. In fact, King Mohammed VI is said to spend around 121,000 pounds on his wardrobe. And no, this is not his annual budget, but his monthly one. So now that we're done with how much he spends on his apparel, let's take a quick look at how he maintains his residence as well as palaces. Wherever the king goes, he has household help to take care of all his basic needs such as food, maintenance and repair, cleaning his surroundings and so on. Hiring household help is expensive on its own, and I'm pretty sure quite a few of you could vouch for that. But since the king is royalty, the household help that he hires is carefully picked for security reasons, making the whole process all the more expensive. It was calculated that the king spends millions per month on getting household help. A certain source has even stated that Mohammed VI spends $8.8 million per month to pay the salaries of the household help that work for him. Just like the rest of the residents of the world, he too has to pay his electricity and telephone bills. The only difference is that his bills are way larger than the bills that the residents have to pay. Mohammed VI is said to spend around £632,000 on just electricity and water, an additional £600,000 on the telephone bill. And apart from all this, he again has to spend a whopping £61,000. If you're wondering what that is for, well, that is for all the other necessary items and stationery that's required around his residence. Though this amount may seem to be extreme for basic accessories, he's a king, and when he spends his money, he always goes for the best without thinking much about the monetary factor. The king is often found traveling and also happens to live in massive residences. And due to this reason, having just a few dozen people to help him out does not suffice. Many thought that maybe 100 personnel would be enough to help him. But even that wasn't enough for him. In fact, according to a certain source, Mohammed VI has 1,100 staff members to help assist him. As we mentioned earlier, the king travels a lot and hence takes some of the help with him too. That adds an extra expense too. But the king has money and if he's able to pay for such a luxury, there is nothing like it. Speaking of traveling, kings love their vehicles. May it be their private jets, their limited edition cars, or even their super yachts. And the king is no exception to this. But now we aren't really going to get into the specifics of his vehicles or yachts. However, we shall be getting into the specifics of the amount of money he has to spend towards their upkeep. Since the king only uses his most expensive cars, the amount of petrol used also is a lot, and that costs him a whopping £355,000. As for the maintenance and repair of these luxurious vehicles, the king is said to shell out around £97,000. If these vehicles are not maintained and used regularly, they tend to degrade in terms of their functionality. The Moroccan king also is an avid lover of animals and has quite a few of his own. Though we don't know the exact details about them, and whether he rears them on a farm or not, the amounts that he spends on their upkeep is something that we do know. £53,000 of the king's money goes towards feeding these animals, and he spends an additional bit for other animal-related activities too. After looking at all those big bucks that he has to spend, it's safe enough to say that the budget that is set aside for the king is quite a hefty one. But this leaves many wondering, how does the king get so much money? Tax is one way that the royal treasury is fed. That's something the people of Morocco know of, and now with inflation and the recession affecting the lives of people drastically, they've started to speak up against the way their money is being spent. But that didn't last very long, and though the hearts of the residents still feel that their money is not being spent justly, they have not rioted in this regard. But apart from tax, the king is pretty smart when it comes to starting up businesses and making smart investments, and they too have gained him quite a large amount of money. In fact, some of the companies that he has invested in or owns are said to hold a net worth of millions and some even billions.
Furthermore, his father was too as pretty rich and had huge stakes in Atijariwafa. Atijariwafa is a huge bank in this area. So when the current king inherited 35% share of what his father had, it racked up his net worth even more. So with all the money that he secured through various avenues, he was able to become the fifth wealthiest monarch internationally. The king loves his huge family very much and loves spending on them as well. Muley Hassan, the crown prince of Morocco, has had his father splurge on him in plenty ever since he was a child. Right from Muley's stay at the Dar al Maksen to his extensive collection of jets, the amount of money spent on them is plenty. Security is another thing that the king doesn't hesitate to spend on. After all, being a royal comes with its a con of being a target constantly and thus having the best. And thus having the best guards who the king can trust around him at all times is highly vital. Unfortunately, not so long ago, his son was faced with a rather traumatic experience when his guard passed away under suspicious circumstances. Through many details about what actually happened weren't revealed, Mule's security was upgraded, and the king, being his father, did everything in his power to keep his son safe. Moroccans are known for their extravagant hospitality, and the king is no different when it comes to following the practice. Whenever he has royal families or dignitaries visiting him in Morocco, he made sure that they leave the place with only praises and no complaints. The royal Mansour Marrakech is one place where the king houses his guests, and this is technically a five-star hotel. There's no budget when it comes to spending on guests, and that's probably why everyone praises the Moroccan royal family quite highly. As we mentioned earlier, the king is a family man. When he's not ruling the country, you will find him spending his free time traveling with his family. In fact, it was stated that not so long ago, he and his family were seen vacationing on the yacht Serenity. The Serenity is said to cost $596,000 per week, which is quite a lump sum of money. After hearing how the king splurges his money, you definitely must be wondering or trying to gauge the man's net worth. Well, we shall let you put your brains to rest and tell you the value. The king is said to hold a net worth of somewhere between $2.1 billion and $8.2 billion. Now you know all the ways that the Moroccan king spends his billions. What other luxuries you think he must spend on but hasn't revealed to the public yet? Let us know in the comment section below. The Moroccan king is one who's known to have a flexible budget. So keeping that in mind, he probably does have some more amazing assets buried up in secret vaults that only he knows of. If they do exist, we hope we get to know of them soon.